A pleasant good afternoon to our MO News viewers. We are live at the IRC press conference Welcome room. Welcome to this news conference hosted by the Independent Regulatory Commission. Uh, welcome listeners of Primary FM and viewers of EO News Live. My name is Idona John Baptist. I'm the communication specialist for the Independent Regulatory Commission, IRC. Welcome the members of the media who are here, our financial analyst in the room, Mrs. Connie joseph Louis. This press conference is intended to sensitize the public really on IRC's responsibility to encouraging safety within the electricity sector. That this press conference will place specific focus on the concern of unsafe utility pools on the island. I will now turn the mic to our executive director, Mr. Justin Case, to present on this issue. Good afternoon to everyone. I'd like to welcome the press, specifically DBS, Imo News, and Kyrie FM, and the public. I'd also like to acknowledge, like to acknowledge our staff from the IRC that works on this project. So, today our presentation is, as you can see, it consistently polls, and uh, it's a concern that the IRC has that these polls are all over the island, and the uh, government has basically transferred their lines onto new polls, and the old polls still exist, as you can see here. Yeah. So, to give you some background, we are like to start off by saying the IRC was created by an Act of Parliament in 2006, and this Act is known as the Electricity Supply Act Number 10 of 2006. In the context of the topic of this presentation, the Act empowers the Commission to encourage the operation and development of a safe, efficient, and economic electricity sector in Dominica, and to ensure the availability of health and safety guidance in relation to the electricity sector supply to the public. Additionally, uh, Dominic was acquired by the government of Dominica and Dominic owns majority of utility poles directly providing electrical service to the country. When the company determines that the pole is no longer suitable, So, when a, the, the company de determines that a cup code is no longer suitable to carry out this electrical service, it transfers that hardware that consists of electrical cables to a new pole. So, the previous pole will be considered unsafe and no longer useful to develop for continued use in the distribution of electricity. This means that the onus is on the as the licensee to ensure that these unsafe poles are safely removed and disposed of. However, it must be shared that the public, with the public that Dominic also has a full sharing agreement with the local telecom companies such as Floor and Digicel. These poll sharing agreements allow for Dominic to list their poll for a specific period to these telecom utilities for bringing their services to the customers. This means also that Dominic in determining that the old pole is no longer suitable to house any hardware, whether from Dublin or a telecom provider, the removal or transfer of hardware should be coordinated to ensure that the removal of all hardware of the pole to the new pole, or from the old pole to the new pole. Okay. In current situation, we found safe poles in the we found safe pole, we found safe Dublin pole, sorry. Currently, consequently, the issue is that when Dominic transfers its hardware onto a new pole after determining that the previous pole is unsafe and has deteriorated to the point that it's no longer useful, the telecom provider's hardware stays on the pole. Uh, 
for the deterioration of a pole may be due to lightning strikes, fire, or being hit by a vehicle. It is incumbent, therefore, on the utility to keep track of the date of installation of their poles as well as continuous monitoring to ensure that the poles used in the distribution of electricity are fit and safe for the use that these poles will be deployed. As you can see, we have taken up photos of this situation all over the island, <coughs> and it's just new fishes. As you can see, the whole pole is tied here. Mm -hmm. This don't make uh, usually have this tied here to prevent it from falling. So it's always so tied to the to the to the old pole. We will, we take this to the public to inform the public and sensitize the public of this situation. Um, so that the public can also participate in identifying such poles and um, bring it to our attention. We would like to also get any ideas that the public may have that can assist in, in the removal of or, or management of these this poles, these unsafe poles. As a result, we are also seeking the cooperation of the telecom providers, but most importantly, since our jurisdiction is, this, is the electricity sector, we would like to to honor its commitment to public safety and to do something urgently about its unsafe utility poles. Domlec has recently launched its health and safety campaign, and we believe that Addressing the situation of its unsafe utility poles will also reinforce the company's commitment to safety within the electricity sector. The next step will be for the RLC to issue an administrative order to Dominic to 
have this force, unsafe force removed. And this will be issued according to our mandate in securing the safety of the public and their property. Uh, in light of that, I'd like to receive any questions that we may have on this issue. Question. Have you formally written to Dumbley about that situation? Yes, we have written to Dumbley about that situation. How long ago? Since 2019. 2019, and we're in 2022. Yes, so you have not written them recently as 2022. We have written them consecutively from 2019 through to 2021. You have you, you've not written to them for 2022. Not yet. Why? Because you see, because I, I no, 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 actually, I mean, we actually had a strategy. So, okay, so we we write them and allow them some time to plan their. The, to come up with a schedule for the pool removal. Now that requires collaboration with Flo and and um, DigiCell. And in the, I must say that Dominic has tried, but in the instances where nothing happened was was more due to lack of cooperation by Flo, specifically. DigiCell actually cooperated on, on that issue. Because I'm coming to that very issue, because as you quite rightly showed, Domlek would have taken off all, it, all of its lines on a number of the poles. But the other companies, because I have, I have addressed that situation, they are yet to remove their stuff. So if they do not remove their apparatus on the poles, what can Domlek do in that regard? Domlek, there's no, no action they can do to force the the other utilities to remove their hand. Uh, what we know that they are doing right now is that they are seeking to, they have made certain clauses in the whole sharing agreement that will put the onus on the telecom companies to collaborate with government and have their hardware removed in a timely manner so the full can then be used. But that, the new agreement has not been yet. I think they are still being reviewed by Dominic, between Dominic and these telecom providers. So, are there legal repercussions for which company? Because you keep stressing Dominic, 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 Dominic. Dominic. but it seems yes. that the problem is it's not, not with Dominic. Dominic. Because, because they are not willing to Dominic, Dominic, but Dominic, Dominic still owns the whole pool. Mm -hmm. As they have not done the legal transfer of the pool to the telecom company that still has their hand on it. So, since if they don't end up that legal transfer, then the report still belongs to them. So as a result, the onus is on government to solve that problem, get the, 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 the telecom companies off their board and get it removed. But how are they going to do that? Like you quite rightly said, there's a, they, they, there's a sharing agreement. Domlek would have removed all its apparatus on the poles. So Domlek basically has no nothing on its poles and then nothing has been done. And I, and I want to ask you also a follow-up question because I know Dominic is also concerned about that. People are also putting stickers, all those stuff on the poles there. You have not mentioned nothing like that. That too is of concern to Dominic. Don't you think too that in safety measures, you spoke about safety, that that should be something that the, the public ought to cease and desist from also? Well, Dominic has issued many notices in the past to to make the public aware of these unsafe practices and um, has requested that they cease and desist from doing that because it's a safety hazard to their linesmen. And um, obviously, if the best they can do is to request the cooperation of the public in that respect. Is there a fee that is paid to donate by the other companies for you using the polls? Yes, that is in the poll sharing agreement at the PMP, yes. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Case. Yeah, thank you very much. This, Mr. Case, you've asked the public to assist in solving that problem that we have in Dominica yes. with these unsafe pools. How does the public, for example, identify a, a pool that is unsafe? In other words, the people walking the streets, how do they know that a certain pool is unsafe? You, 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 it is, uh, can Could you speak to the mic? Oh yes, yes. Uh, whenever you see two poles side by side, um, it is usually 
that Dominic installed a new phone and he transferred the hard <coughs> onto that new phone. Um, I know you probably wouldn't probably know how to differentiate between an electric cable from a telecom cable, but then most of the time, since you see two poles stand, standing side by side, that is, that would use basically most likely be uh, Dominic has chance. So they have onto a new phone and the other pole still has the telecom area. Would you have any idea, by the way, how many unsafe poles we have around Rose or throughout Dominica? Is that a difficult um, task? Is that something you, you, you know for sure? You all have an idea how many unsafe poles we have in Dominica? I cannot give you a quantity at this point. Is it more than, one, more than 200? More than 200? No, it would be more than 200. Because you would have gone out, you would have gone out taking photos. Yes, yes. yes. <coughs> but I want to ask an, uh, a, an, a follow up question. You claim that um, well, the poles belong to Dominic, and then I, I ask you, when last you wrote to them, you said the last time and so on. Don't you think that it would have been much better to seek an audience with them to attempt to solve that situation before going public with it? We had audiences with Dominic and they have not been very effective. When was the last time? The last time was 2020, early in 2020 and 2021. So, <laughs> Don't you think there's a risk factor involved? Dominic having to transfer their lines, electrical lines we are talking about, and the utility companies have to now go onto those poles and transfer their lines to those poles in terms of safety. Have the utility companies complained of maybe not risking their lives to actually do that, or should it be the other way around? No, well, there are different approaches. They can utilize bucket trucks, which would mean that they don't really have to climb up the poles, and in the case of the telecom utilities, they use ladders. Uh, so, yes, it's, uh, it can be deemed a safety hazard, but they, they are trained to handle that situation in terms of transferring their, their hardware. Because the, uh, uh, I notice most of the times that telecom people tend to use ladders and in some cases bucket truck. So with the bucket truck is the safer, safer approach because the bucket is independent of the pole and the, the technician usually stays in the bucket to do his work. I, I get the feeling, and tell me, correct me if I may be wrong, that you've been tardy in certain things your meeting with Dominic, your letters to Dominic, and so as a result of that, you get into the media to try to get to Dominic for you. I get that feeling. Um, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't use it to the time. I, I think we were very timely in our interventions. And um, we have reached a stage where we need to engage the public in this matter because it's for their own safety. What would you expect to happen following this press conference? What would you expect to happen? following this press conference today? First, I would expect the public to be more aware and to visually aware that is to see, to identify and see the sports. And secondly, the next measure is that the IRC will simultaneously be issuing an admin order to have Dominic remove the sports as soon as possible. So they will have to come up with a strategy to work with Flo, which is the main culprit, to get this sorted out. The admin order you, you talk about, how long would you expect that to be issued to to, to, um, to Dominic? The admin order has already been written. It has been written? Yes, yes. so the, the next step after this presentation is to issue it. And would that involve the court? No. We have the, the legal, uh -huh. um, the order's legal to, to ensure responsibility that to, to, to issue admin orders and Dominic must survive. Okay. But I, a little, uh, a little, what took you so long? I mean, there was Hurricane Maria, Dominic, there were some poles down, Dominic, you were taking off poles. You've said that you've been writing to them, and your latest letter was way back. Last year. Yes. So, why so long? Why haven't you been so, consistent with your, on, on, on their backs? Right, so, I came in the last quarter of 2018, and that's... I did the ground running, so that was one of the first interventions by the IRC with, with um, Dominic on the removal of all these unsafe poles. The, I wouldn't say that we have been tardy or that we took, there were any delays. 
we have to give Dominic time to, after hurricane, we have to give Dominic time to rebuild the system. So the entire country received electricity, which was the priority at the time, in 2019. So the, the full coverage was really resumed in 2019. Uh, so Dominic was given that time, and they, we worked with them, and they worked with us actually. But as I said, the, 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 the weak link, or the, where everything falls through, is where the commitment by the telecom companies to have this hardware transferred. And that is where the, the issue is, because we have no control over that sector in that we and neither does the entity else. I get the feeling that there is some proper communication between the utility company, between the telecoms company and Domlet. Domlet, um, John Baptist, I installed a pool on XYZ in <coughs> Fokole. You can now go and remove your lines and put. I think there is some miscommunication somewhere. That, that may be the case, we are not aware of that, because at, at that level of operational activity, uh, the IRC will not, will not really get involved. But Dom, would know whether that is so or not. But we, our, our, our position is to regulate and ensure that Dom does what it has to do in terms of keeping the public safe. Yeah, why are we on Dom Lake, though? I, is, that, is that it? No, no, no. No, no, while you're on Dominic, sir, um, can you inform us as to the rate review exercise you spoke about a, a, a month and a half ago? I think you had to engage the public. Right. But can you tell us where this rate review exercise is at this moment? The rate review exercise is in progress. It's in the early stages. And we have not yet reached the stage where we can engage the public. But yes. as soon as we have reached that stage, we will be doing so. Because it's our regulations um, in our regulatory framework and also public consultation. That is something that we must do. So as soon as we reach the we pass the first phase, then it closes. And can you explain to us again what the rate review is all about? The rate review is about based on our regulations, is a review of the electricity price which have charged out customers pay for electricity. And as is, every three years, this on our regulatory framework, a review occurs. But in the context of what is occurring now, it is the first time, well, the second time we are undertaking it. But really, it's the first time because nothing really, we never reached the final stages in the first attempt that we, we, and we tried. We started in 2014. Yeah, and you said it, it, um, yeah, it, began, it began when? What month? What month? Oh, April, April. It started in April. Yes, yes. And it's between you and, when I say you, I mean. The <coughs> commission. Yeah, you and, um, and Dominic. Yes. And you said so far things are shipping up well. There's cooperation from Dominic. That's yes. what you say. Yes, there's cooperation from Dominic. And when do you expect this exercise to end? A tariff review exercise can take anywhere <coughs> from seven months to one year. Okay, well that's inclusive of all the consultation, all the back and forth, all the negotiations that will be taking place during that period. Okay, I just received, you know, you are live, so people are listening. And I just got a call from a concerned individual who is very much okua with the situation. And they're saying to me that you, you're very much aware that they have been doing all they have to do and they've written to Flo and the other companies. You are very much aware of that and you, you are also very much aware that if the people, the other companies do not remove the apparatus, as I was indicating to you, that there's absolutely nothing that they can do. No. And they're saying that, one second, they're saying that you are unnecessarily putting or attacking Dumlet and you know very well that they would have taken off the apparatus and the other companies are the ones to do the same so Domlet can remove the pool ASAP. Right. So the, the <coughs> what they are overlooking is the fact that Domlet still owns the pool. Mm -hmm. And according to their polar sharing agreement, upon transfer of Domlet's apparatus onto the new pool, simultaneously a transfer of ownership of the old pool should be done to the to the utility to the um, telecom utility. That is where the issue is. And that is where they are. They are in, they are in violation of their own agreement. Okay. And when you are pursuing um, 
solutions to a problem. We must pursue it in, in the context of a legal framework that is, occurs between the two parties. It cannot be that one party has done something, then the, the step that should have been followed was not followed, and therefore everything just falls through. It has to follow the proper, the proper um, legal framework that has been established within and agreed between the two parties. So that's where okay. the weak point is. Okay. Um, I'd also, I'd also like to um, welcome our financial analyst. She has a comment to make. So, so if you have, please allow. In the light of the comments that you received, um, Mr. Kalai, um, we, the concern is at the final analysis, the polls belong to, to Dominic. So if an individual is passing on the poll, there is an accident, somebody gets injured, and the apparatus does not belong, it belongs to, let's say, flow, for instance. But the poll hits an individual, a poor on an individual, where somebody asks it, who you think the person will go to? The person will not go to flow. The person will aim to seek redress from Dominic because the asset belongs to Dominic. And that is why we don't want to put the blame solely on Dominic. We want to let them know at the final analysis that the asset belongs to, to Dominic. And if anybody gets injured, the person will not go to flow. Flow can say, hands on, this is not my asset. This is Dominic's property. It's Dominic owners to probably strengthen the poll because we are paying money to, to, to Dominic. Every month, the utility and um, the utility pays Dominic money for rental of the poll. So the utility will say the owners is on Dominic to strengthen their poll because we are paying them who still have their apparatus, even if Dominic has taken it. But again, you have, then you have a new poll that Dominic has erected, hoping that the old one will be removed after the telecommunications company removes the lines yes. on the old poll. So that is why we need a, part, a partnership. We need the, everybody to on stakeholders together, yeah. to work together. So yes, it belongs to Dominic poll. Dominic has two assets. They have the new poll, they have the old poll. But if, I, if somebody gets injured on the old poll, who they need to who they need to sue? Is it Flo or is it Dominic? So that is why it's a it's a, a thing for all parties to, to, to come together to solve the issue. Because thus far, no incident has occurred whereby somebody or an accident or whatever got injured. But if that case were to happen, then who has to be blamed? I like to say no accident that we know of. Right. Who has to be blamed? So that is why it's a stakeholder engagement, and therefore all parties on board. The utility has to do its part. Also, the telecommunication provider has to be, do their part. I just wanted to add on that, because I know the people are listening, and it doesn't mean that I also want to blame Dublin. We just want that problem to redress, and all parties concerned to come on board. Thank you. I'd just like to say one more thing. And lastly, and to some extent significantly, uh, we would like to improve the aesthetics of the community. Okay, too many of these polls, as you can see, are just not making Dominica clean and green. <laughs> so I'd like to also say that. So um, I'd like to thank all the listeners on Imo News, on Kyrie, on DBS, and the other outlets for having this press conference and we hope that we will achieve some benefit and public, in terms of public participation in identifying and even probably sharing ideas that we have on how best to resolve or they think can, um, ideas they have they think that can contribute to resolving this issue. But sir, do you, one more thing, do you plan on having a say, town hall meetings or meeting the people in the Yes, we do. We are actually in the process of setting up the consumer or customer relations consumer committee. Relations committee. Right. And this committee will have members from each parish that will interface with the village councils and their main role is to it will be bi directional communication. So 
anyone in, in their community that have any issues can communicate it through their representative to the IRC and we will address it. And in the meantime, while that is not while it is not yet in operation, we would like we we, we, we have plans to have some of what you said from our meetings and, and the like. So thank you again and uh, you know I didn't have to Sure. Thank you for joining us here today at this news conference. Um, if you would like to contact the IRC, you can do so at 4406634. You can also email us at admin at ircdominica.org. We look forward to your participation. Thank you. Thank you to our MO News viewers for tuning in to the IRC's press conference on unsafe utility pools. Please feel free to contact the IRC at 4406634. We do hope that our viewers continue to enjoy their day and have a blessed week.